Well, hello everyone, and welcome yourselves back on in to Lonzi's Liberators in Going Medieval. We are deep, deep, well, day one into our first winter here, 36 days in. And we're looking alright, it's, uh, it's a, a quaint little settlement, but it's building nicely. Now, I appreciate all the feedback and details everyone's given on the, uh, the playthrough so far. It's really, really appreciated, and I do thank you for that. Now, I do hear you on the, the braziers and the heat surrounding it, which I'm guessing is what certain markers are. I don't know what this marker thing is here. It might be based on other things. Yeah, it is. So they're heat markers, right? Right, that makes sense. I can see them now when you go down. But this room doesn't seem to be taking a hit on it, if I'm honest. There's certain areas, like... I guess in here... Yeah, it's 3.6. But down here is 1.4. Now, what I am going to do is work on digging out the row behind it and this row here. So, what I'll do... I'll do that now, actually. So, we'll go all of these. All of these. I'm not sure how that affects my beams, if I'm honest. But this is then going to be turned into stone. So, I'm hoping it doesn't collapse. We'll see. Um, once they dig out one bit, I'll make sure I put a beam in, and I'm going to change that. I should probably do one at a time, actually. I need to dig them all out to get to these back ones, because I don't know if they can mine through it. But then we're going to make some uh, stone cutting. And I'm going to change that into a limestone blocks, I think. Okay, research then. So we've got plenty, so I think that does mean let's go into stone block cutting here. And let's actually get one of those in. So stone mason's bench. Now, I think this I'm just going to put outside for now. We've got our stone that's probably going to be stored out here. So for the sake of this, let's go by this door, maybe there. We'll get the stone cutter's bench right there as well. Let's bring the roofs off now and let's go down a little bit. Just so I can kind of see what's happening past that top room there. And we're still training and doing milking and stuff here. Hopefully we'll get keep enough food for this winter period here. We've got plenty of meals and raw. We've got cheese. We've got 350 smoked meat as well. And I'm going to keep leveling up this as well. So as you can see, the last lot's going in. But I need to find myself some more iron for the reinforced door. Now, when you mine certain things, if I just mine in a certain area, will do you just get a chance at iron? I feel like that's what happened previously. And we're just getting chances for the iron, you know? I'm assuming this red border is where the uh, the enemies spawn as well. What I am going to do, though, based on this, is I am going to go ahead and just dig out this. I want to test to see if we can force water to come through. That'd be awesome if we can. I don't know how it works, but uh, I'll start prepping it ready. But the main thing is getting our walls up. If we manage to dig up a little bit of iron during that, then that's perfect. All right, so we still have enough to do another research as well if we want to here. And as we're still in the water, I'm not sure... Uh, winter, not water. I don't know whether to kind of wait. I'm into these, or we make use of getting, like, beekeeping in. It's pretty cheap, but there's no winter right now. I wanted rug making, didn't I? So I don't know whether just to save for that now. I know that I wasn't going to get the stone cutting, but I did it anyway. Yeah, there's quite a bit down here we probably want to wait for then. I think that's probably for the best that we get rug making first. I'm not sure. Infirmary bed, does that heal them quicker? I don't know whether you just make an infirmary yourself. I guess you do. Let's speed it up and get through this, uh, this evening, though. I've just noticed no brazes are on apart from the stuff in here. So all the bedrooms are pretty damn cold right now, which is uh, which is not good. What have we got here? Three, and then I've got one running around. I've actually got two spare there, so these beds probably shouldn't be in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then Audrey. So I need to just assign this to one of them. As the Oak Brethren, let's see who's Oak Brethren here. Yep, so that can be Dwight's then. Dwight, you can have that room. That one's Garwolf, that one's Audrey, and that one's you. Perfect. Let's get Let's get Dwight in there then. Right, they are up though, so second day of winter now. I need to continue on with the hunt, but I also want to make sure these bricks... So I've obviously got uh, Adam doing some serious craft here, which is good. And then we need handle. Is there come some kind of handle? During the day, it's not too bad. I think they're mining down there. But what I'm going to do is just slow it down a second. I'm going to grab someone. And I'm just going to tell them, let's say Garwolf, for example. Can you refuel that one. I'm going to get them to refuel all of our uh, braziers here because there's something not quite right there. And then once he's done that one, I'll also get him to do this one. And then this one as well. So when they're sleeping, we should be in a better position because I think they burn for a while. Um, I don't know which action. It's like general actions, I guess, that do that. 
and there's no like really immediate quick way of doing it so i'll just manually have to tell him to uh, refuel all of them but he has done them now just to make these bedrooms a little bit warmer because it is very very cold and it it goes on an area but one brazier doesn't do much in here the windows are closed i've got them all set to closed but yeah we just need to upgrade from wood then i guess but yeah the last one's going in here guys as you can see which is awesome. I'm not even sure if we got the iron, but I am going to go downstairs now as well. Let's go 2x and let's just see what he's dug out. Okay, so he has started to do some good ones here. All the beams have disappeared, so I think we temporarily get some beams up. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. What's all this? Dirt pile, dirt pile. Okay, so I believe you do a limestone wall because the thermal insulation is better. Would that be the case on clay wall as well though or a clay brick wall let's go limestone because we got the stone block in haven't we let's do that and then i'll let him dig those ones out before we go any further anyway and then i can put the beams back in at least across to kind of keep that one safe and that should help with heat transfer we'll see all right andrew is building our limestone okay so we are very much, there's not as much to do in the winter, so it's the perfect time to like cut down certain trees and, and just stock up on resources ready for, because we, we're less farming to do. I could train the animals during this period as well. Yeah, there's a lot to cut down here. I'm just looking at the trees. They are in a good state right here, which is awesome. Plenty to do there then. So it looks like all done there. Entrance points done. We've got one, two, three, four. The door... And one piece there that has the items in. I will get this obviously built around here as well. But for the time being that might help. And then over here I think I'm going to wall this one off. So we're going to say a wooden wall. I'm actually going to bring that through like this. And I'm going to get a wooden door on the front there. And I'm just going to bring these over. Just flip all those. And then what that's going to be is the little weapons room. So I'm going to stick in a couple of the weapons racks. Or I'm going to move all the weapon racks over there. So when they attack, I think I can do that. Can you not relocate all of them at once? The good news is I can obviously expand that as we go along as well. So number three, go there. And number four, let's get this one just over here for now. And then what I, I hear you on, the, on these guys as well. So I need them, did you say one further forward kind of need to hang them over the edge don't i that's fine though for the time being it's just a defensive position i can work on that as we as we go further in anyway and there we go there's our stone then so if i go limestone blocks and we'll say until 100 that will do just fine that seems to be a little bit away from the wall but that's fine i think once the roof's on yeah i'll move that back another time it looks a bit silly doesn't it all right, here we go. So environmental cold snap. Severe frost turns the ground to iron, ruining plant crops. Right, we don't have any anyway. Trees split, birds froze to death, and rivers became solid ice. It was vital for the settlers to dress warmly and heat Lonzi's liberator's sleeping quarters to evade the deathly kiss of cold. So cold snap then, it's gone down to minus two there. Looking at these, are they all dirt piles? They're sticks. I'm just seeing if there's any iron lying about. Oh, it's gone down to minus 8.8 .8 minus 9, so we really do need to be careful. My screen's changing here. We need to make sure these stay refueled. How cold is it in there? 8, minus 8 even with that. How do you how do you keep this hot then? I don't really get it. The fuel lasts a long time. Priority high. Intensity high. There we go. Priority high. Intensity high. Nice. Okay. That I didn't know was a thing, so now I do. Let's get all of that and the same for all of these. Priority high, intensity high. Because actually, it is really cold outside. So it is helping a few degrees, minus 12. So is this, yeah, the fuel doesn't last as long. It's not amazing, is it? Let's be honest. I wonder if we get even more in then. I think in the daytime, it should ease up a little bit. But we need to make sure the priority is highest on all of them, actually. I could probably I select them all. Yeah, we could say priority very high. With the uh, full intensity there as well. So there's one brazier there that isn't lit. So that might make... This room's pretty good because of the stove, I'm guessing. Seems to be pretty good. Now the good news is... My freezer is frozen. Why is everyone asleep down here? Is it warmer down there, guys? Or is that just because... Yeah, they're actually asleep downstairs. Okay. 
I guess it's warmer up there, down there. <laughs> right, our first stones coming in as well. Adam has created those. Oh, we've got quite a few. So we've got clay bricks, we've got some limestone bricks now as well. So hopefully they'll sort the bottom out. Good news, good news. Oh, it's getting even colder. We do need to keep an eye on everyone then to make sure they're not too bad. I've just seen this, look. This, this structure cannot be used because it's an un, in an unsuitable environment. So basically the cold means they can't sleep there. Now, I was not expecting this and I didn't even know it was a thing. So that makes sense why they were sleeping downstairs. Ah, okay. So how do we get this better then? What sort of temps? Do we just need more brazes in here? Interesting. I honestly didn't realize if we were to copy one of these then let's say for the sake of getting this nice and warm if we do there's quite a bit isn't there but i reckon we could get away with just popping them bottom around everywhere would two kind of do the trick in each or is that overkill i mean the only way we can find out is by testing them right and there's no harm in testing them. we've got plenty of sticks either way and i can obviously just cut down some of these ivy shrubs to, to refuel them and it looks like five days per each one anyway so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll just see if that helps because this room here seems to be pretty good when this is on um obviously we've got everything we need i do definitely want to get onto the lavish meals but i think we just need to get through our first winter here and prep everything and i'm guessing clothing wise if you've got better clothing then it works out better as well so what we'll do is once the winter's finished we'll try and recycle this into the uh the bricks and i think what we'll do is actually go ahead and just ramp up the the pure numbers here because actually we finished the walls off we finished them all we need is some iron for this one and we'll be good and he's also digging this out now i think that just all classes as dirt and we're getting a little bit from it obviously you might have to let me know on the iron front guys where's the best place to find them i have looked around the map and i'm not actually seeing anything explicit that says iron like i'm hovering over stuff and everything is just soil there's no guess you need like a mountain of some kind maybe over here where it goes up a bit it also soil there's areas of clay but we can't see it at the moment now obviously we did find some iron raw material there's just no iron at the moment from digging we did find some over at the clay so i don't know whether we get some just by doing that as well right there's the braziers and two braziers has brought them up actually so we're in a okay position there i think and they're all very high priority so we just need to get them to kind of burn through everything and hope yeah they can sleep in their beds again so that should help now this one still hasn't been built so let's uh all right i think adam's on it so that's perfect we'll keep going with that we just need to survive that is the main thing and then let's have a look at doing some hunting in the meantime before the cold snap kind of disappears and i hear you on the deer is saying they do get a bit scarce later on so make sure you're aiming them all right, let's go into the overview of the wildlife here and let's see if there is there is some deer so let's jump over 22 you're young 13 female male i'm going to attempt to tame those two deer over there and uh, we'll basically just allow them in here so we'll say deer can go in there as well we'll have to extend this no doubt um but at the moment we we're getting enough animal feed to keep going so that's fine and i think our cattle slowly getting trained which is great um, the goats, actually. So if we go overview and then we go domestic, I'm pretty sure when they hit a certain point, cattle should be able to uh, haul for us. All right, that's perfect, though. At least they're sleeping in the beds now. Hopefully not downstairs anymore. There we go. And it wasn't because there was two in the one bed. It was because they were blinking asleep on the floor. But they are going to bed as needed, which is perfect. You can stop now. Oh, no, Audrey works through the night. She's a she's an absolute beast. Cold snap has ended, too. Lovely. So everyone's going to be nice and toasty for you. We should be fine. We are through the cold snap with no one dying, nothing dangerous happening. <laughs> and with our cut stone then, how are we looking down here? Hopefully they can reach it. It looks like they have put them in. Lovely. So we got our first... Are they in? Limestone wall has been put in. Perfect. So a little bit more to do. So what I'll do then is just copy those guys in. We'll get that there, that there. And then these guys, it looks like they can build through them. So we can just go ahead and just fill them in as and when. And then it was these ones, wasn't it? So if we go there, all the way up to that door right there, and then we'll get those bits done as well. I think we'll just need to... We need to be careful of where we dig, obviously, because of the ladder, and they'll get stuck down there. Lovely stuff! I might just have to say no to this uh, wall piece, this one here, for a minute. Because we just haven't got the iron. If we get attacked... 
that's going to be the problem, isn't it? So let's just copy one more of these in. Let's get that last bit done. Just to kind of say that we've got our, our brick wall at least. And I think what I'm going to do is have a floor across all of this. And we'll build the uh, the spikes up on those. So actually, we're going to go floor. Uh, we need to go into the thermal insulation of these guys. So certain ones are better than others, right? Metal grated platform. What you want is these grated ones so we can shoot through, right? Is that possible? I'm assuming so. So we've got limestone floor. We've got limestone block floor. Let's also go down and let's redo this flooring as limestone blocks as well. Basically going to be a fridge, right? There we go. And yeah, as far as these go, I was thinking something like this. It cost a fair few brick, but I think that's okay. I'm going to do just to start us to have the basic wall here. Like so. And then what we'll do is have a some kind of ladder with a doorway coming up at some point. I could bridge these guys across so they can walk along the wall with the arrows, right? So the moment this gets breached, there's another door that they can basically go on the wall. This is going to help for the early defense. That's what I'm thinking anyway. And we can set the, uh, the marlins across there. Is that what we call them? And we've got some decent traps now too. We can obviously get our clay our clay brick mar merlins on here. Sorry, calling them marlins like an idiot. But they're quite expensive. And I think I want to get some wooden traps across here as well. So I'm thinking, I don't know how it affects our survivors. But I think I want to get just a couple in to start on the front there. Now, I don't know if they can swim across yet. So we'll have to obviously deal with that when it happens. Looks awesome at the moment though. I absolutely love... The door. That is so cool. And they're digging this out quite nicely, actually. And when we get into terraforming, we're going to be in a good place with all of that dirt to actually dig out and do some. All right, I did the uh, I did the deed and just quickly Googled the best way to find iron ore if you've got none available on the surface. And it actually says dig out limestone deposits and the iron is usually under, under the surface. I'd definitely like to get some more of those gates in as well because I want to start expanding the uh, the build i think it looks like if the winter stays like this we should be fine i'm not expecting another cold snap but you never know right what i should have been using i've just checked is this heat map legend that's what we want that is so good that helps massively i don't know if my cattle are struggling with that but that's fine and yeah still digging out over here so we're gonna have a lot of clay which is perfect i actually want to start building with them and I think I've decided on what I'm going to do with these guys. And I think I'm going to have a main hallway. I'm going to expand this with clay. Turn it into one giant building. Um, and then just attach their bedrooms to it, I think. Or do we have them separate? Oh, I don't know. I quite like the separate idea, maybe. I think once we've terraformed this and expanded this out, I think they're going to stay like that for a little while whilst we decide on what we're doing. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. That last piece was in. So I feel a lot safer if we get attacked at least. Now, one thing I do want to do is go in and make sure everyone has decent marksman skill. I need to start training some because these two are naff. Adam, he's an 8, so it's not too bad. These, they're not very high level. So we've got a 10, 14, and a 9. So I think I want to go ahead and get another... I'm just going to say, do we have any longbows, actually? Just check. So they've been moved over now, which is great. Just see if there's any uh, any weapons on here at the moment. We've got one short bow that's flimsy. I'm going to get them to keep crafting to level up the crafting. So we're going to say five short bows. And obviously, worst case is we can sell them to a trader anyway. I think that's a good idea. And then I'm also going to repackage this. I'm going to push that back one to go in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and destroy out both of these fields. And I'm going to reset up in the spring at my new farms. So we're going to get rid of all that. We've got our berry bushes over here. But I think this little area is because I want to build on this a little bit further. I've got a good amount of space that we can use for that to actually build where we want as well. And we're just going to bring this up to see where they're at with that. I'm hoping, can you build like giant gates as well? I would love that. I kind of want to keep it open at the moment to make sure they come that way. Yeah, that's good. Good job, Andrew. I do want to test out the uh, the the marlins on here. Now, I'm just going to check the manufactured here. It's still looking pretty good. Mechanical components. We've got loads of tallow. 
Textile is looking pretty good as well, leather-wise. And we've got some good linen cloth here. So actually, if we want to make some better clothings too, if we go just a little bit of a look here. Good, flimsy, good, sturdy, flimsy, and sturdy. So if we... Oh, didn't mean to click that. Get rid of that one. They're supposed to still be crafting two winter clothing here. Right, let's open it up and let's take a quick look then. So in here, just trying to see flimsy, sturdy, good, fine. Doesn't seem to change. Oh, they have better hit points when it's in there. Okay. Oh, and then... No, wool isn't better for that. I'm trying to see. So different hides don't seem to make any difference to temperature. It just helps with their maximum comfort. So that's fine then. So we are okay with that. I don't need to purposely go ahead and sort those out. Uh, we are... Let's have a look. Raw materials. Still okay on sticks, but there's not a massive amount. I'm going to make sure we're cutting down a few of these odd random shrubs that are knocking about. They're just ivy shrubs, so we can get some sticks from those. There we go. We should be good. I'm going to keep those red current ones out front because they've been pretty helpful. And the rest of them I can just bin off. There's actually one on that bush. And harvest that. All right. Food reserves on stockpile low. What? That's waste. Don't worry about that. Okay, cool. What we can do then, actually, in the clothing also is say, I think you can edit edit and say it's got to be a certain level i think that's on the storage isn't it so if we click the storage you can say no default stockpile we can say a certain amount of hit points so i need to set like a legendary one i'm pretty sure research wise there is actually a good one so we're at our max thingy here look at this i wonder if rugs make us warmer let's go ahead and waste all 45 on rug making and that's going to be one of the first things i want to do so i want people to be happy so where's my rugs Ah, you've got to go onto your sewing station to make the rug. Okay, so tailoring 15 and tailoring 5. Rush, rush matting. What does it do? So I guess let's produce two of those and let's uh, let's move that one up. Just kind of want to see what it's all about. You can finish the winter clothing afterwards. All right, I'm clicking these rugs and stuff and it won't let me click them, unfortunately. I'm not sure why. I can't click any of them. I'm allowed to click random stuff, but there's nothing for rugs. So I don't know how I go go about doing that, but that's fine. At the moment, it's um, Adam's kind of busy. I know he's our main one, so let's have a look at who else can craft here. So, uh, not craft, sorry, tailoring. So he's 14, 12. Audrey's a 12 on that. We could get Audrey doing it. That's no problem, why not? And then you can obviously go to, uh, yeah, Sybil's doing the research. So that's fine, Audrey can go ahead and make a rug or two. All right, majority of that part's actually been done. They've done a great job on that. So let's uh, let's continue on. Let's copy another floor. We've got plenty around to actually be able to do this. What I want to do is actually go ahead and do that. We've gone to there. Let's bring that all the way up to there as well. And then I just want to basically attach this and bridge it over. It's annoying that I haven't got that the same width as this, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I think I want to bridge this to come across to here. And then we can have like a walkway that is covered with these guys as well i'm quite excited for that this is just going to be the basics of our outer uh, outer tower but i think this is going to go higher i think as well we'll separate it out into two this is going to be a basic armory to start and we have space to obviously expand it as well i think those traps are going to move eventually but they're there just to kind of just a little bit extra at the moment all right let's go and look then so food wise it's saying food Reserves on stockpile low. I don't have them set here. Is that a bug? I guess it is. I don't want that to keep saying that because we've got plenty of food. Um, let's have a look down below as well. So how are you looking at the moment? Looking pretty good, actually. Let's copy in another one of you into that corner and that one there as well. Uh, so you can click. I've just realized. So there's a if I click that one, it says go to layer. Nice. OK, I'm getting used to it because from Alien Dawn and obviously RimWorld, you don't have the multiple... Alien Dawn, you do have multiple layers, but there's only five, and it's a lot simpler. Um, whereas on this, it's so many layers with the underground and stuff. All right, because I moved that brick, I just realized you need to uh, go ahead and uh, redo them, don't you? Let's go to 200. There's no, no uh, shame in having lots of limestone here. Quite happy with that. And let's get this cut down as well. Harvest this flax wherever we can. There's still some berries on these bushes we may as well take them that's a good shrub there as well i kind of want to get attacked all right i'm going to go ahead and change this up now so i'm going to take him adam to a two on craft now and uh to be fair i'm going to have everyone a two on craft there's not a lot of jobs so once it's started they'll carry on but we want butchering to always happen um 
And I think it's causing an issue, actually. Who's going to be taming? So animal handling, animal husbandry here. They're both a 16, actually. So there's no real danger of uh, these guys. I'm just going to take a couple of these off this one. There's no real danger of them kind of focusing that one. So research them. They might change this. Just pop a one on here. I want research to be secondary. Uh, do I want to hit up that first? I think so. Because I'm not ready for any more research anyway yet. So I think I might give Sybil... A bit of the animal husbandry. What else are you doing, though? Construction, animal husbandry, crafting. Not doing carpentry yet. Actually, Andrew, go ahead and do it, mate. You can be the, the animal handler for now. Hopefully, you can go tame up those deer if they're still there. A lot of fox here. They're still here. I do want to hunt these foxes as well, I think. I'm just keeping a close eye on the, the bows that we have in here. Um, I think... Is there a way? Just looking. The priority is very high. That's fine. I'm just thinking if we allow only sturdy quality on these, we can bin off the rest of them. We can kind of set them to be broken down back for the resources as well. I don't know what they'll do with them. I'm hoping we can have like, ah, I know what to do. Let's get a little stockpile with the junk out here and we'll get them broke down, right? So if I just go default, we'll go thumping stockpile. Uh, let's actually make that. Let's uh, clear all a second and we'll go into warfare. And we'll say flimsy for all warfare. And then I'll expand that. I'm hoping I've done this correctly. I think we'll just do this. Right. And then when stuff goes into there, I can set it to be broken down. I don't know if there's a better system for that. So let me know on that one as well. Settlers are suffering from cold. Yeah, you're fine. You'll be all right, Garwolf. Is that because you don't have good clothing on? Garwolf. Dirty. Summer. Why have you got summer clothing on, you donut? Right, now he's got the winter then. He should keep that on. It's got low hit points, that's why. That should help get rid of his cold there as well. Hopefully they got on the crafting. Uh, tailoring, sorry. I think I've got Adam doing a little bit too much. We almost need one more person that I can have just solely on uh, tailoring, crafting and things like that. I could take him off construction. There's not a massive amount of construction to do at the moment, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's force some tailoring for now, just to get it done then. Uh, I want to really interested in these rugs. They cost quite a bit to do, so hopefully I'll get finished on a lot of this stuff. There we go. Wait, was it any good? Was it any good? 30 winter. Not bad. Not bad. And there we go. The weapons are going in. Lovely. It is working how I wanted it then. Is there a way of breaking them down? I guess they just decompose. Huh. I don't know. There's no way of physically breaking them down, unfortunately, so that's fine. Carpentry skill is now level 3 for Andrew. Andrew, you weirdo, what are you up to? How did that fox get in here? All right, well, let's hunt it. Let's hunt it. It's come into our territory. Let's get it. He's eating our bushes. Right, uh, at Audrey. Oh, it's gone. It's swimming. Right, I think we do need to uh, process this across now, and I'll get like a bridge area set up as well. So I'm just going to copy these guys. We're just going to go to start to build across the river here to stop these guys kind of coming in. Got plenty of brick to do so, haven't we? And I kind of want to do it so is overlapping like that. There we go. We'll do a little bit of time. It's easy. I mean, we've got the brick, so he's doing quite well with that anyway. What we set at here, I could get them doing even more here. Okay. No, we're fine. Firing clay. I don't want them wasting too much time. Exhausted once again. Please do go to bed. Uh, meals were still looking really good as well. So we're using all of these meals to keep going. And it looks like butchering still happening down here as well. And we must have killed that fox because there's 16 leather for it. I just need to get the building done in here when the stones are done. And then I can get my beams back up. I think I can get a beam right now anyway, so let's do that. And what we'll do is get a yeah, normal wooden beam, I think. Like so. Let's get one bang in the middle there, I think. I know it doesn't have a wall yet, but they will go ahead and do that. And there it is, our little bridge over the top of our gate here. I like that. That looks super cool. All right, so I got it saying animals are hungry. I mean, there's a, a trough right there with 25 animal feed in it. Feel free to uh, go ahead and eat it. I might copy in another one then. Get another trough in there just in case. I don't want you complaining you're hungry constantly. Are you going to eat or are you just going to be that daft? The other cow's eating. No, they're all not eating. You're going to go eat. Can you force them to eat? Uh, will they eat fodder? Is that the problem? All right, the goat's eating. The cows aren't eating the fodder. Is there a way of forcing them to eat it? Because the trough's there. Tell you what. Uh, Garwolf, I know you're gardening right now. Can you come and construct that 
Dutch broth, please. We'll, we'll get back to you in a moment. There's lots of good ingredients there, but I think I'm going to load that one with food as well, just to see. Oh no, it's going over now. I think it's just because they queue, maybe? There we go. I think, yeah, it's just a bit of a queue going on it. I need you to be trained as well. Yeah, there we go. We sh we're fine then. We'll have the two troughs anyway. It's just a bit delayed. But all of those flimsy weapons have come out now. So every time they make a short bow and it's flimsy, we're going to get rid. So we're going to try and work for, for better bows here. We're going to always say until you have. No, I think we need to manually do this. Because if they're not flimsy, or if they are flimsy, they're going to be here until they disappear, right? I could obviously give them the flimsy bows for the for the meantime to kind of level it. So I think the way our setup is, it would make sense to have them just all shooting anyway. So I think I'll do that. Actually, maybe keep Adam on that one and then get the other two on ranged. That should be fine. The spear was pretty handy, though, from Sybil, right? Uh, and I'm wondering whether it's worth doing the grated floor. So when they break through, you can shoot down through the floor. as like little peepholes as well. I guess you could go up and put windows in, too. Because it looks like you can shoot through certain things. So getting windows inside of these would have been a good shout as well. Um, all in all, though, they've done pretty well on these. Let's check the material again and see if we can uh, go ahead and keep building. Oh, we got four iron nuggets again. So we're definitely digging them up from these. Just not enough to uh, produce. I'm just going to test something here for the water mechanics. I'm just going to dig one slot there. Just make sure the water does fill that way. Because until we've landscaped this, I'm not going to change anything. All right, we've got 31 again. So how much is terraforming? 45. So I think we'll save for that one. Stone carving. Defensive structures is a metal trap. Uh, I think that's the last one of those, actually. Then everything else. Wooden weaponry. No. Crossbows. Ooh, crossbows. Crossbows too. Heavy crossbow. And then the fletching is a longbow, right? Okay, cool. Armorer. Okay. What do we get for that? That just unlocks the, uh, the thingy here. We can go all the way up to some really heavy stuff. Okay, royal bed. Brewing. We could get a brewing station and go ahead and make beer. I think I'll leave it for now, though, and I'm going to continue with just getting what we've got. I think I'll get terraforming in after, because I do want to get my uh, surrounding stuff done. Now, they've completely done that back bit now. We need to decide where the bridge is going to be, and I think temporarily we'll get in one iron door. We're not going to be using it yet anyway. I think I'll just pop that at the back here. And then I'll just copy these guys in. Get this going. And then we'll break it down when we get to a point I'm happy. But at the moment, that's fine. There we go. So we'll get all that completed. We've got one door there if they want to go back. And then I'll get a bridge built out this way. I think I need to mine those two pieces off. We'll get those gone. And then as far as the structures are concerned, I think we'll just build... Something like this. Uh, I think it's four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. So we have to go there. I might have two in the middle. I'm going to make it look nice. And then we'll cancel that out. Just some wooden beams there once that's dug out. And then what I'll do for the rest of it is actually go ahead and go... Uh, can we go limestone floor, practical and effect. I think we just go clay brick floors as well. I should allow me to build the bridge across... And that does mean they might attack from there, but I'm guessing with this open, they'll they'll favour coming this way over this one. It looks like it's not even going to take them long to get the uh, the walls up around the settlement as well, which is awesome. And then I can go ahead and separate this soon. Uh, Garwolf and Andrew are now friends. Let me check in. They still haven't gone ahead and changed their weapons here. I think I've got them forced. I have... They should go and pick up the other weapons now. There we go. Perfect. I had forced weaponry on them. So we've got five bowmen now. And then Adam's our main defense with the axe and shield. Should be interesting. Uh, as the winter's gone on, we've got more and more um, smoked meat as well. Look at this. We've actually got 381 smoked meat. Good, good, good. All right. As it's warming up, and I think we'll be going to the spring soon, I'm going to slowly start to get our little fields in. So we're going to start with a cabbage one. And I think, I want to leave a little bit of room here. So we've got the shrubs there. Go with a row like that of cabbage. We've got flax. I'm not going to worry about that too much because we're going with these guys. And then let's get beets there. When we've got the barley, we'll go there. Don't need too much of that. And then we'll get herbs there as well. Perfect. 
I think I'm going to fence these guys off. I got, obviously, the ash pile there. I'm assuming we might be able to use ash for fertilizer or something eventually. I don't know. I'm, guess, I'm guessing at the moment. So, training attempt failed. How are you looking? 22% at the moment. 27%. Are you... Oh, no. We're not able to do anything yet. Let's continue on with the training of all of them, though. And here comes the start of the bridge. I don't really want that done before anything else, I'll be honest with you need iron. Right, there's clay over here, so let's go ahead and set a bit of this to be mined out, because I think we may be able to get ourselves down into some iron over there. It did seem to work previously, and we had enough just to make a couple of doors, so that should be fine. And then when we when we uncover a bit of limestone, I'll go ahead and do that. Hey, look at this. It's, it's decomposing away. Nice. That's what we want to happen, which is great. Andrew's hit construction 18 as well. I think because of the cold temperatures as well, it might be it might be doing it. Ground times 0.50. Uh, we need a bit of rain. That'll sort it out. Ah, water. So if we put our wastage stop... Ah, uh, I've got it. I've got it. Copy. Let's go ahead and bin out our weaponry over there. And then what I'll do is get rid of that. They should move them over into this stockpile, right? If it's flimsy. Flimsy or a certain amount of uh, thingies we should probably put down in there. Should probably do the same with clothing. Maybe. Yeah, let's do the same with clothing. So it's all going to decompose in the water over here, hopefully. At a permanently increased rate. Are we going to need... Are we going to need something to fill that one in as well? Too far from stable structure. I think once that one goes in, it should be fine. Good job on the building, guys. You're doing a great job. All right, we're running mightily low on fodder now as well. I've just caught that. So I'm going to go ahead and look around. Oh, there's some flax there. We'll grab that. They're bones from old old thingies. Okay, I've scoured the map here. I am actually very concerned about the lack of fodder here. Now, what else can we make it out of? We are still building it on the fire, aren't we? Let's just get rid of that autosave. It takes 20 vegetables and 10 hay. Although we've got 53 hay, we just can't build with it, I guess. Hmm, we just have to make do. There doesn't seem to be any. Can you plant that? I find it a little bit weird that you can't plant the uh, the thingies, right? Okay, so our rush matting's been finished. I'm trying to find where you where you get that. That's hay sleeping spot, wicker bed. It may well be under one of these. I've just seen a normal bookshelf as well. There's me using wall bookshelves. We could have used the other variant. Hey guys, look. My ceiling's fallen through. <laughs> I've only just noticed it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. All right. Let's get that fixed. That's what happens when you mess with the, uh, the thingy, right? Uh, we need some kind of structure to help that. So let's go down. Let's focus on getting this beam done. Um, how am I going to do this? Right, I need to get the stone sorted. That's cocking with our storage piles. I have only just noticed that. And that's obviously going to affect our cooling. And we don't have enough limestone brick. Nice. So, is it ideal to use the clay? Maybe so. Just for these pieces, I just need to reinforce it, don't I? So, if I just go ahead and get these guys as clay brick along that back wall, and then I can put in the uh, the beam. Get one there, and one there as well. We'll get that built, because that one's missing some items too. We just don't have enough. Didn't take them long to build that either, and then I can get this flooring back in. Oh, look at that. Something's died to the traps. Let's allow that. Give me that fox, baby. Oh, and a polecat. Lovely. Oh, this helps massively. Please do all die. That's amazing. Free food. I think once they're triggered, do you have to reset them? Yeah, I think the wooden traps are done for, right? Oh, no. Wooden traps have mechanical components. The normal ones don't. So once they've been used, they have a hit point. So I think they're fine. Right, I'm going to force the construction of the clay bricks down here. I'm just grabbing Andrew to do that. Um, hopefully... He can come and sort this. Come on. Come on, Andrew. Let's go. And then I can get this beam in. Good effort, mate. Do it. He keeps pegging it. Oh, he's got to go and grab some clay from over here. All right, I'm going to leave him to do that. They're coming out with mining. I'm hoping they dig out a little bit of iron here, because that would be perfect. There's also a mature female deer there. I might set that one to tame as well, and I might come and force the tame or the tame attempts. Um, if we can get a male and two females, that'd be great. Because if we can get a herd of them... Oh, look at that. There's a, a fox there. 
if anything, the traps have uh, given us some free food, which is quite nice. Right, I didn't realise the uh, wooden traps actually cost the mechanical components. I'm not sure how much... Hey, but how are you... They're just running straight past my traps. I don't know whether they work anymore once they've popped up then. You'll have to let me know on that one, guys. So if they're popped up, do they still work? I don't think they do, based on what I'm seeing here. Anyway, based on that note, guys, that is going to be where we end this one out. So as always, please do smash the thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subscribing as well. And as always, if you want to support me that little bit extra, consider becoming a member on Patreon or a member on the channel. As always, guys, hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.